Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, September the 26th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 97 to 120. Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 13. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, my God, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Alleluia. Psalm 119. My God, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your command makes me wiser than my foes, for it is mine forever. I have more insight than all who teach me, for I ponder your will. I have more understanding than the old, for I keep your precepts. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey your word. I have not turned from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Your promise is sweeter to my taste than honey in the mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, and so I hate false ways. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. I have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees. My God, I am deeply afflicted by your word. Give me life. Accept, most high, the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. And though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your statutes in fullness forever. I have no love for the half-hearted. My love is for your law. You are my shelter, my shield. I hope in your word. Leave me, all you who do evil. I keep God's command. If you uphold me by your promise, I shall live. Let my hopes not be in vain. Sustain me and I shall be saved and ever observe your statutes. You spurn all who serve, swerve from your statutes. Their cunning is in vain. You throw away the wicked like dross, so I love your will. I tremble before you in terror. I fear your decrees. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. My God, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Now Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during all those days, and when they were over, he was famished. And the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. And Jesus answered, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. And then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me and I can give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. And then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to protect you. And on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, it is written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. And when the devil finished every test, he departed from Jesus until an opportune time. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church, that it may be filled with truth and love. For Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers. 
For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and all may be one, as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For the leaders of the nations, for Barak and Joe and John, Elizabeth, Stephen, Alexander, Hu, Gentile, Donald, Yoshihiko, Joachim, Angela, Jonathan, and for all the leaders in the world, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and the freedom of every person. For a blessing upon all human labor, for the right uses of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed of poverty, famine, and disaster. For the unemployed, especially Carol and Bill, and Robert and Carrie. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, for all who suffer, for refugees and prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. For Philip, and Wayne and Marilyn, and for all who died in the communion of the church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with Francis and Claire they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. The Song of Zechariah. Alleluia, blessed are you, O God of Israel, you've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, will be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before our God to prepare the way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, you come to your people and set us free. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. 